Hi, it's me, Marie. I'm wearing Ghostbusters socks. Let's make a video. So today, I thought I would show you guys another one of my collections because everyone really seemed to like the Playbill collection video and I do tend to collect things. So today, I will be showing you my Disney pin collection. Now I know collecting Disney pins is definitely more common than collecting Playbills and some people have crazy big collections. I've just got this little board of pins, but uh, every pin has a little bit of a story to it, so I'm gonna go through them, show you guys what I have, and uh, talk about where I got them. Let's do it! Okay, so here is my pin board, and we're gonna start up top in my favorite corner, which is all my Marie pins. Of course, Marie is my favorite because my name's Marie, and she's just so darn cute. And Cats was my favorite movie growing up, so... Um, most of these pins I got through trading at the Disney Parks in Disney World. I know this one and this one I actually purchased online uh, through Instagram. Someone had been selling them. And this one I purchased from a store in Animal Kingdom. But the rest of these guys I got through uh, trading. And I especially love this one because I've never seen that pin before. Like, I've seen all of these around and I know this is from like the new collection that they have out now where they have like big feet and they're really cute. I've never seen this pin anywhere else so that's really cool. Um, these are my aerial ones. I got these either through trading at Disney World or um, online. You can purchase like big packs of pins on eBay and they're just random ones so I'm pretty sure that's where I got this one but the rest of these I traded for. I like this little one that says uh, I'm not fishing for compliments. She's so cute. Then we have my shoes down here. I'm pretty proud of the, the shoe collection. I got these all through trading uh, in Disney World, so I really love those. We have Ariel, Snow White, Jasmine, Cinderella, and Aurora. The shoes are so, so cute. Um, I hope I could find them all eventually. I got this Aurora through trading, and she is like the same style as this Ariel up here. I have these two Pascals I got through trading. Uh, funny story about the yellow one. I traded for him uh, at the store in Disney Springs and I saw him and I was like, oh my god, it's Pascal. I have to have Pascal. So I went up to the cast member and I was like, hey, can I have the Pascal? And she like looked at me like she didn't know what I was talking about and I had to point him out. I was like, have you not seen Tangled? What? Crazy. Uh, speaking of Tangled, I have this Wanted Flynn Rider, which is one of my favorite pins, I think. I actually bought that in the airport in Orlando when uh, my friend Kate Morrissey, who I will put a link to her right up here, she and I were in Disney World together last year and we were just in love with the Flynn Rider that we met at breakfast. So that was our joke the whole day and we walked into the store in the airport that were selling Disney pins and we were like, we have to get matching. Flynn Rider pins to remember our breakfast uh, at the boardwalk this morning. So that's what that is. Um, I love that pin so much. I got this Dumbo from Kate as well, actually. We traded, traded a Tiana for, he's so cute, look at him. Tweedledee or Tweedledum teapot, I don't really know. I just think it looks nice. Love this Mike Wazowski, traded for him. Uh, traded for this Dory. I got this Sully. Ooh. Um, in one of the packs I bought online, but I'm a, a, a big fan of the, the safety pin ones. Um, I traded for Oliver. I can't believe- I've never even seen an Oliver pin before. I used to love that movie when I was younger. I got this Mickey Mouse in one of the lots I bought online. I don't know, I just think he's kind of funny. It's just kind of an angry, angry little Mickey. Oh, I got this Perry the Platypus right outside of Hollywood Studios, and I have not seen a Perry the Platypus or Phineas and Ferb pin since. So I kind of really love that one. If there were more Phineas and Ferb pins floating around, I would have definitely snatched them up, but I was unable to find any more. Um, I've got some Lion King pins over here. This Timon in the World of Disney store. Uh, I traded for the Simba and the Scar that match here. I love this Pumbaa. I think I traded Kate for that one too. Look at him. He's so good. He's so cute. Uh, this is one of the like special animators sketch pad. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. If anyone knows what that one is, let me know the Simba. But I've never seen another pin like that. So I really like that one. Um, and then I have my villains. I really like my villains. 
So this is Captain Hook and Mr. Smee. Love Captain Hook, by the way. If you don't know that about me, that's a secret. Maybe has something to do with Once Upon a Time, but I'm a big fan of Captain Hook. Um, and then this hat was actually one of the first pins I ever traded for, this Eeyore and this hat, because I went to Disney World in 2017 with Mitchell Northcutt, who I will also link, you guys know him. And I was going to trade for the Eeyore, and Mitchell was like, what about the Captain Hook hat? And I didn't even see it. So shout out to Mitchell for showing me that one. And then to go along with that, I have my Jafar hat up here. And then the villain ties, Gaston, Hades, Scar, and Jafar. And I actually did find Chernabog. Um, I just don't care about Chernabog. <laughs> so I didn't trade for him. I think he completes the set. I could be wrong, there could be one more, but as far as I know, Chernabog would complete the set, but I didn't want him, so I don't have him. This Gaston was the first Disney pin I ever, ever had. My best friend Casey went to Disney World one year and she knew how much I love Beauty and the Beast and Gaston, and so she brought this home for me. And in high school, this little guy was on my backpack all the time, and I just carried him around with me. So I love that pin. Um, also in Beauty and the Beast, I have this Belle and Beast that I got from Kate as well. This funny little teacup one that, uh, I don't know. I think there might be something a little off about her. <laughs> but she's fine. Uh, this Cogsworth, actually is one from a set with Lumiere and Cogsworth, and Mitchell kept the Lumiere, and so I have Cogsworth, and so it's like a, like a cooler version of a friendship bracelet. He's got Lumiere and I've got Cogsworth. And then this uh, Snow White one I got in one of the lots I bought online. This Tinkerbell is actually from Mitchell as well. He gave it to me. I think she's really cute. And then uh, we're up in the last ear here, which is all my Winnie the Pooh pins. These are some of my favorites as well, along with the Marie ear. So this Eeyore was the first pin I ever, ever traded right outside of the dinosaur land in Animal Kingdom. Don't remember what that's called, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. And then I got this little guy on my last trip last year, traded for him as well. Um, I got these two piglets, I believe in Disney Springs when I traded for them. This one I got in a, in a pack that I got online. This Tigger is from Kate, and I got him for my birthday along with this beautiful pin board that Kate got me. Isn't this just so cute? I don't even know where all my pins would be if I didn't have this. And then this Pooh Bear actually says Disneyland, which I've never been to Disneyland. I've only ever been to Disney World. But uh, I found him on a cast member's lanyard, and I was like, yeah, I want a Disneyland Pooh Bear as well as this little one that says, be mine. I love him, he's so cute. Um, yeah, but I've never seen either of those pins anywhere else, so I was really excited to jump on those. And then I've got the Winnie the Pooh line that on my last trip with Kate, I was trying to get all of them. I didn't manage to get all of them. I'm still on the hunt for Kanga and Rue, and then there might be like a Christopher Robin and a Pooh Bear as well to complete the set, but I'm not actually sure. So I'm still trying to complete that set. But uh, yeah, so that's all my Disney pins. Just a quick little tour of my pin board to show you guys all the pins I've collected and I love them all so much. So if there's any of the pins on here that you know information about, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know more about these pins and maybe let me know what your favorite pin trade ever was. I think mine has got to be uh, this Marie here. So let me know what yours is. Thanks for watching. Bye.